Next to the second question, how many Palestinians can be on the whole of Palestine, the answer was also quite simple. If possible, not even one of them. If not possible, they should be a very insignificant minority. Now, in the 1930s, this was a very bold assumption because the Jews were only one-third of the population. Not only that, most of the Jews just came a few years earlier to the land. Imagine a group of immigrants who come to Canada. Maybe there is such a group, I don't know. Imagine a group of immigrants coming to Canada three years ago and saying, this is a beautiful land. We should have most of it, and we don't like the indigenous people who live here. And I'm not talking about the First Nations. I'm talking about everyone who has been here living until the last three years and saying, we should find the historical moment to get rid of them. If you understand that, I think you understand very well the history of Zionism. 